Hey guys, how are you? All right, I am coming in here because I wanna show you some ways that you can go ahead and get a more defined contour look. So I get asked this question all the time and I'm just gonna pop in and let you know. So I already have my makeup on. My makeup looks great, it's very natural. There's nothing wrong with it. So I've just done the cheetah hack. You put the dots all over, you just blend it, whether you're using a 3D brush or you're using the blush and bronzer brush, whatever it is, you've basically just gone around your whole entire face and you have all your makeup on. Now let's just say you wanna take it to the next level, okay? So you're gonna take your contour, and honestly, there's a bunch of different colors that you can use. So I don't want you to feel like the exact one you got colored matched with has to be your contour. I switch mine up all the time. I actually love having different contours. So I have a whole bunch right there. I have a whole nother palette with different contours in here. It's really fun depending on what you're wearing, if you're wearing something warmer, if you wanna be more dramatic. So definitely, it's not just the brushes and the technique, but it's also the different colors, right? So as you get darker, it's gonna be more dramatic, but as you get lighter, it can be warmer, softer. It's really, really fun, okay? So pick your contour. We're gonna use indigo for today. So it'll really show up on camera for you. And we're gonna talk about this brush right here. This is the detail brush. It looks like a broom. So if you and I are chatting in the back office and I say to you, um, hey, like it looks like a broom, this is what I mean. It kind of like has this like sweeper at the bottom. You have this little round like awesome guy at the end and you're gonna come through and you can kind of see how my makeup pulls on it. You're gonna come through into your contour just like this. And you're gonna kind of load it up a little bit, right? I kind of went in there like whatever, a bunch of times. You're gonna go, here is the top of your cheekbone or the bottom of your cheekbone, you kind of feel it. So you're doing like corner of your ear, top of your ear to the corner of your mouth. And you're gonna come right about there. And you're just going to push it up like this. You're going right on the top of it and you're gonna have to come back, you're gonna have to grab more. And it's gonna take a little while to get used to it, right? Because it's not something you're used to doing. You're adding more. So this is how you're gonna do it in the beginning. Now, when I do it, I just slap in there five or six times and I throw it on my face. So when we're sitting here talking, you're not realizing, but when you're just starting, it can be a little scary to go ahead and you're putting darker color on your face. Just remember, a little goes a long way. Remember not to overblend. So I'm just kind of like stippling and you're just kind of like lifting up at the same time, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it like that and see how it just, like you leave it for a second and as it gets a little warmer, it starts to sort of like blend and then you can kind of come in like this if you wanna go ahead and really give like a sweep. Now if you really want more, just come in like that and go back. Do another layer of it, just pounce it. You're gonna be putting blush on the top of that, so it's gonna blend in even more, but honestly, I'm leaving that, okay? So now you're gonna come through and if you wanna snatch your jaw, I love this brush for this, because it just naturally kind of falls right in there. You see that? See how it created that shadow? So you're coming right up with this brush, and then I take whatever is left, and you're just creating this like amazing shadow. So you can see on this side, I actually have a shadow there, right? And all I'm doing is just taking that shadow and going straight up. If you wanna define your neck, go right on the corner of your mouth. Whoosh, 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 down just like that. Make sure you make those noises. <laughs> so there you go. Now, if you're doing your forehead, again, you wanna take it and you just wanna pounce it. You can kinda of see I'm like stippling. And you're just gonna kinda of push it back into your, your hairline. And this way, all you're doing is just kind of giving a little bit more definition versus just having more simple, right? And then you're gonna take whatever your brush choice is for your blush. This is where I really like to come in with the shape brush versus doing like the blush and bronzer because this way I'm not over blending. So I kind of just, I'm putting Frenchie on like that. And then I'm gonna tap into sandstone and just kind of do like 
an ombre, like a very light ombre. And then you just use that to blend together. Or you can come in with your trusty sponge and just hit up the edges. Just do the edges. So it all blends just like this. And this way, everything just kind of comes together. And you can see, you can definitely have a more defined look versus having just a more natural look. And it's really nice. And you could go darker than this. You could go like lighter than this. It's so fun. And you can add all different colors. So let's just go ahead and do the other side really quick because the lighting might be a little different. So I kind of make like a, a face like that. And that way I know exactly where underneath my cheekbone is. You can really see it on this side. So I really I really define that, right? And then you just kind of come in. Sorry, I have a little bit of a runny nose here. You just kind of come in like that. And you're really defining it. But you see how it just kind of pops? I just have to match the two sides. <laughs> then come on and do a little bit more on your forehead. Like, don't be afraid to like, take a little bit longer to do your makeup. Like, just because you can do it in three minutes doesn't mean you have to. Like, I just love playing, right? So this is the fun part. The fun part is just playing and seeing what all this stuff can do. Contour is so fun. You can also like contour your girls and all sorts of fun stuff like that. So just kind of take it like this, let it warm up to my face. You could take that sponge and just kind of lightly go over it. If you're pulling too much makeup off with your sponge, it's too damp. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna put a little bit of blush, hang on. I'm gonna tell you my secret to my nose. I actually, I can do it two different ways. I prefer to use the little tiny brush but you can use the detail brush. So if you only wanna get one brush to do this, get detail, start there. That's what I started with. If you already have the detail, you're gonna to wanna to get this one. And it's called the bright brush. I never can remember. Can you see what that just did to my cheeks? <laughs> it's so fun, right? So, and just keep in mind, you can just go back like this and just do those edges. Just keep those edges really soft. The sponge is your best friend. If you guys don't have this thing yet, you need it. Get the travel one, it's cheaper too. Okay, so you can totally take your um, detail brush and you can go like this and you could stamp along the side, okay? I'm gonna do my nose with this brush so that way you know I'm using one brush, just one brush. And then we're just gonna do it a second time with the little baby brush. Cause you know me, I always love to be like, hey, so guess what else I found? So I'm just kind of stamping it like that. And I do this live all the time. I might do it like faster, but, and then you can take this little tiny side. Your nose is gonna over blend quick. So I kind of just like, I really kind of baby it a little bit. And I just, I try not to go like down like this, right, too much. I try to keep it so it's like definitely slimming, right? See that? And then use that sponge. Blend it all in, use your sponge. And then what you can do is take any brush with like your brightener. You know, you could use your blend brush, you could use, this is like the blur brush, you could use any of the brushes. And you can just come in and just like brighten up your nose like that, but like, how awesome and you can go as thin as you want but this brush what is this one again the bright brush i love this one i love this one it has like this really cool fluffy end to it so i like to take it and i like to just drag it lightly like see that like there's nothing on it there's nothing on it there's no makeup on and i just gently kind of go like this i don't know you guys it's just such a good brush because it doesn't like, it's so fluffy like an eyeshadow brush, but it's just, I don't know. If you have it, try it. 
If you don't have it, scoop it up. If you're like, I need to buy something to get the free toe, try this. Put this on your wish list. And just kind of like, you can kind of like apply it and blend it at the same time. Can you see what it did to my nose even though I already used the detail brush? It's good. It's so fun. When I'm sitting here like playing with my makeup and I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes I just, it's like rainy day. I can't use my left hand, but I'm going to try to do it anyway. I feel like I'm blocking my thing. Sometimes when it's like rainy day and you're just wanting to play and I'm like, all right, I got to find something new. Ah, that's so good. You guys, I just love this kind of stuff. So just whatever, grab the different brush, um, clean it off with your microfiber towel, whatever. And then come in and just brighten that baby right up. Isn't that fun? So fun. Okay, ready for more? The other side, because I'm never gonna show you a brush and not show you both sides. Come and see your contour. You should know that I am secretly weird like that when I'm home. You can ask my boys. I'm always singing. And I'm a terrible singer. I talk in funny voices. <laughs> all the time. I talk like Roxy. Like she's a little head. Like that's how Roxy talks. If Roxy could talk, that's how she talks. Try, look at that. Try this with this brush. I'm going to post the link to it. If you don't have it yet, yeah, you need it. It's so good. That's so good. It's an awesome lip liner. Do a little V like that. See? Like this. You're creating a shadow. You're creating a shadow. So it's going to give you the appearance of a fuller lip. And then do your bottom lip. Do your sides if you want. I always go a little heavier right here. Then take your spongy. There you go. You don't even need to put anything on if you don't want to. Like if you don't want to put a lip color on, you could just use like your Aquaphor. You could use a balm. You could use you could use anything. I don't even know if I have a balm. Oh, I have a balm right here to show you. It comes in like peppermint and like peach or something, or I don't even know but it's kind of like chapstick. I'm trying all three. Ooh, that was definitely peppermint. <laughs> That's it. Keep your makeup simple. Take it up a notch. Have a little fun. Can you see how warm that just like made my face? And your nose is gonna be like awesome. And then if you don't have the blend brush, this has nothing to do with contouring. You just need it because this is my favorite trick to come in with your brightener just like on the top of all your, of your makeup, right? Just come in like that, right? So every everybody asks me all the time, like, how do you get that for your pictures? Well, look what just happened. Because I'm doing it like on the side of my nose and I'm traveling it over, it's just brightening up. But do you see what it did to my nose too? It just like popped it all. And then use whatever's left to snatch the little cheeky area, cover up your friends if you need to. Again, go back with that sponge, but you can also use this edge to kind of blend it in. Do you see how like snatcheroo that just got? I don't think snatcheroo is a word, but. It's beautiful makeup and it's so fun. It's so fun. So I wanna know, do you already have the detail brush? Do you already have the bright brush? Do you have the blend brush? And have you snagged one of these perfecter sponges yet? Because when you guys are looking at my makeup or you're watching me do different things, I love to be able to come in and be able to show you guys like, here's your basic, here's your basic hack, but you're going out on a date, you're taking pictures, you just wanna have fun one day, like whatever. Let's take it up a notch. You guys, makeup should be fun. Remember how much fun it was when we were like little girls? 
should be fun again. So I love this. There's different highlighters you can use. There's different contours you can use. Like you can come in and you can use softer contours. You can use different color highlighters. This is called Palace and it's gorgeous. These are just going to give you like different looks, like this different final look. Like Palace is just, you can kind of see the pinkish hue to it. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And there's like little tips and tricks that you can do along the way to just kind of like really like, I don't know, just make everything pop. So don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Actually, this video is coming to you because somebody asked me a question about contour. So I hope you're watching this. I'm going to tag you in this and I want to know what else you guys want to know. So, and if I don't know how to do it, you bet your bum I'm going to go learn. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.